Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you that how to create a project in QC. Fine. Uh, so, uh, if you are a registered user of Infotech Solutions, you would be having access to our important documents. Uh, so, I'm going to use these same documents. If you are not a registered user, uh, then keep following the steps. Clear. I mean, closely watching the steps. Whatever I'm trying to. Uh, do and make you understand. So I'm starting the QC right now. Uh, please make sure before starting the QC that your ALM server server is actually run. It's started. If not, then simply right click on this icon. This is ALM server and click on Start Application Lifecycle Management. Okay. So after starting the ALM server, you need to open the Internet Explorer. As you know that uh, QC works on IE Internet Explorer. So I'm going to open HTTP localhost colon 6060 slash QC bin. Okay. See, so this is going to open the application lifecycle management. Uh, now uh, you have basically these uh, six to seven options available here. One is application lifecycle management, second is lab management, performance center, site administration tools, and readme. So uh, when we talk about the creation of project and creation of users, so this uh, the whole working lies into the site and administration, and rest all the uh, management lifecycle management of an application or a project that lies under this uh, section fine so when we need to uh, when we going to create a project so i'm going to click on the site administration okay so i'm going to provide the password it is the same password you have provided at the time when you were uh, installing the qc fine so after uh, after this installation you'll be able to uh, get under the application lifecycle management sorry site administration fine so here's you going to be so if you see uh, the URL as well that's localhost QC bin slash site admin dot JSP okay so the site administrator that's QC underscore admin uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a project here okay so uh, okay so my project name is uh, going to be flight reservation system fine so i'm going to create a project as flight reservation system because uh, this is a complete uh, different kind of test cases i created a document here so we're going to follow the same document we'll create a project uh, project users then releases cycles and different kind of test plans and test cases okay so uh, for creating a project what you need to do is if you see this is a root folder projects are there fine one project is already there so uh, for creating a project I what I can do is I can simply click on this this button fine if you can see create project so I'm clicking it so it's it is asking me a kind of which what kind of project you wanna create so uh, you can create an empty project you can create a project from a template a different kind of templates are, are available or you can create a project by copying data from an existing project for example you have a, a project already available with you already created so you want to copy some data from uh, that existing project or last one what you can do is you create a project by importing data from an exported uh, project file okay so I'm going to create an empty project right now okay the project name I'm going to write as this one the flight reservation system so flight sorry uh, okay the good point is uh, the field can contain only letters numbers and the underscores so we cannot write the space so it is going to be okay the domain is going to be the default because I have only one domain right now. So I'm going to click on next. Okay, it is going to connect to the database. The server name is this the local host, the DB admin user. This is this is database admin user and its password. Okay. We are run, uh, we are working on this local host, that's why we are I'm keeping the server name as localhost only. 
and uh, it is asking that some of the database servers do not have the text search feature available after this process completes you can enable the text search in the db servers tab and then click on the enable rebuild text uh, so just click on ok and next ok so uh, here is uh, here is uh, one more kind of uh, I would say uh, option available where you can add number of users within your project fine so right now I'm clicking next because I didn't create any user for it just click on next and this is uh, something about the the project new Oracle project name is flight reservation system do in default server local host tablespace users and temporary and create okay just click on the button create so now uh, if you see it's going to process here fine so this is going to create a project it's running number of commands here if you see creating tables creating number of tables Copying folder, project schemas. Just, just uh, let the process complete. And finally, uh, if you see. One more video is there. The project flight reservation system was created successfully. Click on OK. Fine. So this is the project uh, created here. Fine. So this is project we already having here. Okay. So uh, this is uh, this is something. I mean, I try. I uh, created a project as flight reservation system. I hope you have got the idea that how to create a project uh, in a QC. Then in next video we are going to deal with the. Uh, I mean, users creation and uh, the different uh, modules. Thanks for watching.